Hi, my name is Derek Garcia with LearnSBomb.com, and today I'll be doing a short review of WPBomb, a simple plugin that integrates your WordPress website with a Dependency Track server. As a small disclaimer before starting, this project does seem to be in its infancy and doesn't appear to fully take advantage of Dependency Track's abilities. The most notable issues are the lackluster SBOMs and the need to manually hard code filters to add CPEs. I would not recommend this tool if you're looking to secure your WordPress site. However, we are highlighting this tool since the development is still ongoing and the purpose of an SBOM is to provide some sort of cross-section of the code, which WPBOM provides with Dependency Track. Lastly, this will require admin access to Dependency Track server and a WordPress host. You can check out our demo on Dependency Track to learn how to set up a server, and I'll leave a link below to learn how to set up WordPress. I'm hosting WordPress on my Ubuntu server. To install the plugin, we need to open the plugins folder, which in my case, like so. Then we need to clone the WPBOM repo and CD into the resulting directory. All right. And then we can use Composer to fully install the plugin. There will be a warning about using Composer as root, but in this case, it's necessary since the WordPress files are in protected directories. After logging into WordPress, we can go over to plugins and we can see the WPBOM plugin. After activating it, we're all set. We can also install the tool by searching for WPBOM in the plugins page and installing it that way. Switching over to Dependency Track, we'll need to create a project to use. Once we've done that, we can open up and we'll need to copy this object identifier because we'll need to use that later. Next, we'll need the API key which after I close this, we can find under administration, access management, and teams. You can create a new team and key if you'd like, but I'm just going to use the existing automation key, which we can find right here. And we don't need to change any permissions. We just need the key. Now returning back to the site, we can go to the plugins page and insert all our dependency track information. So in my case, there's my API server, my project identifier, and my API key. And they're going to save these changes. And then I'm going to manually update. And we got a successful token switching back to the Pensy track, going back to our projects. We can see that we can see our project has been updated with component details. By default, WP Bomb will send an updated SBOM to the Pensy track every time a new plugin or theme is added. This can be turned off and only allow manual updates, but it'll demonstrate this by adding a random plugin. So if I add a new plugin and add the first one I see. Now checking my installed plugins, we can see now it's active and switching back to the Pensy track, refreshing the page. We can see that our SBOM has been updated with the new plugin. WP Bomb does build its own Cyclone DX SBOMs, but they do leave a little to be desired. Looking at the component information, only the bare minimum is shown, but it's a starting point regardless. To add CPEs, you need to modify the source code, which may not be an option if you're using hosting service for WordPress. Modifying the source code in general is not ideal, but regardless, starting in the WPBOMB plugin folder on the Ubuntu server, we'll need to access the Cyclone DX controller PHP file, which is under the source slash controllers file. And we can scroll past the BOMB function, which we can see builds that software build materials for the plugins and the themes. Now I have already written out this code and I'll quickly uncomment it. You can add as many of these filters as you need. Uh, in this case, I'm just using contact form seven. You can replace that with whichever form you need or component plugin, whichever. And in this case, I've hard coded a value because that's a known vulnerable version. In practice, you would probably replace this with a variable to just whatever the current version you are installing. There is a detailed version of this on the GitHub page for reference. We can save this and return back to the plugins page where we can add our new contact seven we can install that. And we can see now it's installed and switching back over to the Pensy track. And we can see one vulnerability has been detected going over to components to our new contact form seven. Now this version number of 5.6.4 is the most up to date, which was in the plugin metadata, but we can see where we added our CPE right here which was used for vulnerability detection. 
WP Bomb is a promising plugin for WordPress, although I would stop short of recommending the tool in its current state, especially as the only SBOM generation tool for WordPress that I've found, and with the dependency track integration, WP Bomb definitely has potential. However, the weak SBOM generation and hard coding required to make use of dependency track's vulnerability detection does limit the use cases for this tool. I hope this tool continues to be developed, and I would recommend following this tool's development if your work does involve WordPress. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at learnaspbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here, and then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.